TED and TEDx are a really beautiful way of celebrating the best of humanity. Some of you have, have been to lots of TED events, followed them closely online. Others of you are having your first TED experience today. And what's so amazing about it is that TED gathers people from all over the world who have engaged in amazing pursuits and learn lessons along the way and often some pretty incredible accomplishments. And what they do when they come to that event is they open up about the lessons that they've learned and in the process they enlighten all of us. The official language from TED for TEDx speakers is to dream big, show us the real you, and make the complex plain. And that is what our speakers are going to do here today. And the collection of speakers today is incredible. I don't think I've ever been to an event with this kind of amazing list. Listen to what we've got for you today. A master magician featured in Ripley's Believe It or Not. Kindness must have focus. It also takes practice. What is it in you that made you want to do magic? What is it inside you that, that magic <laughs> speaks to, that makes you feel like this is the, your contribution to the world? What is it? A filmmaker with one of the most successful Kickstarter photo campaigns ever. Place. It's almost like a story being told. It was a lot of burnt out buildings. It gotten pretty wrecked. A lot of cars people placed in order to try to shield. You decided that you needed to run through the streets. And I should have gotten killed, right. rationally speaking. Do you think that there's some metaphysical, broad, or religious reason that you didn't? When you just feel something deep down, that you have to do it. If you don't do it, that's where regrets come from. They don't come from having done something. They come from having not done something. A top expert on robotics, the creator of a school in New Orleans that teaches kids how to achieve food security, a former top justice of California, a leading specialist studying parasites including malaria and how to stop them from hurting people, a woman who's a sports agent and author of a tactical guide to becoming your own career agent. We have to believe in what we do and why we do it, right? Especially for the young people here who are going to be graduating. What direction do they go? to find their what in order to then find their why. What are the five most important things for me professionally in my life? Take those five things and write them on five separate sheets of paper. And walk through the exercise of taking one away, one at a time. And what you'll find is you'll end up with the most important why in your professional life. The man named the most influential rabbi in America, a healthcare attorney and author who's gonna open up about what it was like to be a patient in mental institutions and to get past all that and have a very successful career. Also a top expert in the physiology that underlies how we interact with each other. Could this lead to a, a real life love potion? Definitely, I think it could. If we, maybe not just oxytocin, but some of the other molecules, the more we know, we may be able to do that. A nationally recognized expert on depression, a top official from the Carter Center who's fighting for democracy in the Middle East and North Africa, and last but definitely not least, someone you're all excited to see, the one student who won a competition to get to speak here today at TEDx Emory. So it's a really exciting event. Now, I want to let you all know what's going to happen. I'm going to be introducing each speaker. After that, we have just a couple of minutes for q and A. I'm going to ask some questions myself, but also you all and everyone watching through streaming can submit your questions as well.